Sure. Here's the text with proper punctuation. Totally, there is life somewhere else, and without a doubt, any life has to be. The chances are simply overpowering. A recent discovery has sparked interest and wonder among researchers and space enthusiasts alike. Famous science communicator Bill Nye created a ruckus when he revealed that Voyager 1 had detected 300 massive objects in space. This discovery has not only captured our collective imagination but also raised significant questions. So, what are these objects and where do they come from? Let's dive in as we unravel the mysteries hinted at by Voyager 1's astounding discovery. For nearly 50 years, the Voyager missions have provided us with some of the earliest and most remarkable views of our solar system's wonders. Surprisingly, these missions were not expected to last so long. In the 1970s, Michael Minovich had a groundbreaking idea. A spacecraft could use a planet's velocity to propel itself further into the solar system. Initially intended to last just five years, the Voyager mission has far exceeded these expectations. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched only weeks apart in the summer of 1977, were first set to explore Jupiter and Saturn. They achieved this mission by successfully studying these gas giants, but they didn't stop there. Voyager 2 went on to make the first-ever close-up observations of Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These flybys of four planets earned the mission the name Voyager Grand Tour. Instead of ending their mission, the resilient Voyager spacecraft set their sights on an even more ambitious goal, exploring deep space. Now, 46 years later, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still traveling, gathering essential scientific data from the farthest reaches of the universe. In a groundbreaking announcement in 2013, NASA revealed that Voyager 1 had officially entered interstellar space. Interstellar space is the region between stars, beyond the influence of the sun's particles and magnetic fields. It's like moving from a bustling solar system into a tranquil, star-filled wilderness. The Voyager story continued in 2018 when Voyager 2 also entered this vast area, 17.7 billion kilometers away from the sun amazingly. Voyagers 1 and 2 are the only spacecraft to have ventured into interstellar space. These pioneering spacecraft have been studying how the interstellar medium interacts with the solar wind from our sun. NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft have been our primary source of information regarding the heliosphere, a protective shield surrounding our solar system. The heliosphere is shaped and modified by the solar wind, a continuous stream of charged particles emitted by the sun Voyager 1 and 2 have acted as our cosmic reporters, sending back valuable insights about this celestial shield. Where does this data converge? At the heliopause, the official boundary of our solar system, marking the transition from the solar wind to the vast realm of interstellar space. NASA's Voyager spacecraft have provided valuable new data about interstellar space. One significant finding is that cosmic rays, mysterious particles, are three times more intense beyond the heliopause compared to within the protected region of the heliosphere. This difference is like comparing the serenity of a backyard to the bustling activity of a busy street. However, there's more to this cosmic show. NASA scientists didn't stop with Voyager's discovery. They integrated data from subsequent missions with Voyager's observations, creating a comprehensive picture of our sun and its complex interaction with the surrounding interstellar space. In a grand cosmic performance, NASA scientists made a stunning discovery last year. Voyager 1 captured a low hum that matched the vibrations detected in tiny amounts of gas floating in the vast void of interstellar space. Nikki Fox, the head of NASA's heliophysics division in Washington, D.C., emphasized the significance of the Voyager missions. In her words, over the past 40 years, the Voyager missions have been pivotal in providing us with this data and have transformed our understanding of the sun and its effects in ways that no other spacecraft can. Well, that's quite an adventure in space. Voyagers 1 and 2 rely on a power system fueled by plutonium. However, as the plutonium ages, it generates less heat, causing the Voyagers to lose power. Facing this cosmic challenge, NASA had to make tough decisions, shutting down non-essential systems and even some initially considered crucial. The heater designed to keep instruments warm in the freezing regions of space was turned off. Yet, here's the surprise. Despite the odds, all five instruments have been Working well since 2019, defying expectations. NASA scientists are astounded, 
considering how the Voyagers are still functioning in temperatures that would typically freeze other spacecraft. It's a mystery that deepens the remarkable legacy of these daring space pioneers. Adding another layer of wonder to their enduring journey, the outer edges of our solar system are astonishing astronomers with unexpected behavior. The heliopause, which acts as a boundary between our sun's influence and the space between stars, isn't staying still. Instead, it's shifting and forming strange angles, leaving scientists amazed and puzzled. This idea of the heliopause changing shape isn't entirely new. For the past decade, researchers using data from Voyager 1, Voyager 2, and NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer satellite have observed the heliopause tendency to change. These spacecraft are incredibly valuable as they provide direct measurements of these cosmic boundaries, even though it's just at one specific point in reality. Dr. Eric J. Zern, a space physicist at Princeton University, shared some exciting insights in an email to Vice. He mentioned how IEX, another satellite, is adding valuable data to help scientists improve predictions about the heliopause future movements. Now, here's where it gets more intriguing. Recent studies have challenged what we thought we knew. IEX observed a peculiar brightening of energetic particles in 2014, suggesting some anomalies in the heliopause. However, these anomalies didn't match our existing models, almost like an unexpected twist in a story. Additionally, Researchers noticed significant changes in the heliopause position in a short time after examining data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. This movement could explain why these two probes reached interstellar space in 2012 and 2018, respectively, with a considerable gap between them. These unexpected behaviors are not just puzzling. They contradict what we thought we understood about the heliopause. In a recent article in Nature Astronomy, Scientists referred to these inconsistencies as the frontier effect, meaning they are bewildering and could cause some debate in the scientific community. But don't worry, the search for answers continues. Scientists are eager to learn more from NASA's upcoming interstellar mapping and acceleration probe, scheduled to launch in 2025. This state-of-the-art satellite promises to uncover more secrets about the outer reaches of our solar system. Until then, we can ponder the mysteries waiting for us beyond the heliopause. In May 2023, Voyager 1 experienced an unexpected event during its routine operations. The part of the spacecraft responsible for controlling its high-gain antenna, known as the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, started sending back confusing data. Instead of the usual reports on the spacecraft's health and status, it seemed like Voyager 1 was having trouble communicating much like how someone might struggle to speak fluently due to a condition like electronic aphasia. From our perspective on Earth, it appeared that Voyager 1 was experiencing electronic confusion. The data it sent back seemed random or lacked coherence, as NASA explained at the time. Interestingly, despite these odd reports, Voyager 1 appeared to be functioning perfectly fine. Its radio signal remained strong and stable, and it was still pointing the antenna at Earth, contrary to what the AACS was showing. Adding to the intrigue, Voyager 1's scientific instruments continued their operations without any issues, unaware of the anomaly in the AACS. Besides, the spacecraft's fault protection system, designed to respond to malfunctions by placing the spacecraft in safe mode, was not triggered by this event. Fortunately, NASA quickly identified the issue. It turned out that the AACS was using a computer that had been dormant for a long time. The solution was simple, a command to switch to the working computer for data transmission. However, the mystery remained about what caused the AACS to behave strangely in the first place. NASA suspected that an incorrect command from another onboard computer could have triggered it. While this incident did not pose a significant risk to Voyager 1's safety, NASA is actively investigating to prevent similar occurrences in the future. Voyager 1 has been exploring interstellar space for over a decade, outside the protective magnetic field of the Sun. This magnetic shield, like Earth's magnetic fields, protects the spacecraft from cosmic rays and other space radiation, acting like a cosmic suit of armor. When it comes to technology, just as Earth's computers can face challenges from high-energy particles and solar radiation, Voyager 1's onboard computers also encounter cosmic obstacles. Occasionally, energetic particles can interact with CPUs, 
leading to minor memory errors that accumulate over time. Susan Dodd, the project manager overseeing both Voyager 1 and 2, provides a valuable perspective on these challenges. She mentions that encountering such mysteries is part of the norm at this stage of the Voyager mission. These spacecraft have been on an incredible journey for nearly 50 years, far surpassing their expected mission duration. The fact that they are still navigating through interstellar space, an environment filled with high levels of radiation, a realm no spacecraft has ever explored before, is significant. Nearly 50 years have passed since Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 set off on their momentous journey. They've traversed vast distances, delving into unknown realms and uncovering profound data. These iconic spacecraft, now venturing into interstellar space, face a unique challenge. Their computer systems from the 1970s era operate with just 70 kilobytes of memory. Yes, that's right, a mere 70 kilobytes. Despite these technological limitations, NASA has successfully maintained the functionality of the two Voyager spacecraft for decades. In 2019, NASA's ingenuity was on full display when they skillfully fired the thrusters of Voyager 1, an action that had not been attempted for 37 years. This remarkable accomplishment highlights the dedication and expertise required to manage and sustain these extraordinary space explorers. Here's a truly fascinating aspect of Voyager's journey. They carry a message for potential extraterrestrial civilizations. These messages are encoded on golden records attached to the spacecraft, containing information about Earth's people, culture, and even music. The golden records are a time capsule of humanity, intended for anyone who might find them. These records include greetings in 55 different languages, capturing the essence of Earth's linguistic diversity. As we conclude our exploration of the Voyager mission, it's important to recognize the dedication of the individuals who worked on this project from the 1970s to the 1980s. They meticulously selected 115 images to be included on the golden records. These images showcase various aspects of life on Earth, offering glimpses into our world and the beings that inhabit it. Imagine the awe-inspiring scene if these records were to be discovered by an extraterrestrial civilization. They would be presented with a carefully curated gallery of humanity's achievements, our home planet's natural beauty, and the rich diversity of life forms that call Earth their home. This visionary endeavor, initiated nearly 50 years ago, continues to inspire and captivate the human imagination.